you for me, for us, for everyone. This is the way. This is the way. Shinra Tensei. Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another reaction to The Mandalorian, this time to Episode 8, the season finale of Season 3, Chapter 24, The Return. If you enjoy the upcoming video, please like, comment, share, or subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. Head on over to my Patreon, the link is down below in the pinned comment. Also, down in the pinned comment is the link to my Discord. All types of good things happening over on those platforms. Head on over, and with all that being said... Let's get on into it. We have failed you, but our blasters remain in your service. Where are Question I forgot to ask. Uh, I can't remember if I missed something in during the conversation. But the captain, the one on the ship that they found, had asked if the Death Watch still existed, and he said it with, with almost a sense of vitriol. But he serves Bo Katan, who was part of, of the Mandalore Death Watch, with uh, Pre Vizsla. I have to go back and see that scene. Perhaps I. Um, Perhaps I missed something. Did you just, did you just punch Beskar helmet? <laughs> there we go. Like, you know, next snap. That's a little bit more efficient. But the Mandalorian has escaped. He's a little green one for Grogu. <laughs> I'll take care of the cruiser. Everyone go. Axe is probably dead. Ah! <laughs> it's like I tried to get up oh, the shit. Okay. <laughs> tried to grab the gun. Car five. Good job, buddy. One of them just riff, just fell off. <laughs> Been a lot of buddy coming from Mando. That's not Gideon. Hmm. Those are his clones. He's cloning himself. The, the speculation, we all speculated that this was the program. For Palpatine, which is still very well could be, but it's for Gideon. Now it begs the question if the Gideon that we're even dealing with is the original Gideon. We've taken refuge in these surface caves since the purge. Do you live here? We've taken refuge in this <laughs> cave since the purge. We cultivated farms. Life persists. Uh, life, uh, finds a way. Hmm, that was an interesting sound for the blaster. My clones! We're finally going to be perfect. Finally going to be perfect. Getting the one thing I never had. Force abilities. The Force the potential to wield the force and incorporating it into an unstoppable army you sly dog you got me monologuing you sly dog you got me monologuing i can't believe <laughs> <laughs> they came out like the the ring wraiths <laughs> in lord of the rings yeah. Gata. No, no, no. No. Nothing's going to happen to Baby Yoda. If it does, I will be completely surprised and intrigued. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hmm. So Axe does live to fight another day. No body, no death for Moth. He must remain a foundling. Then I will adopt him as my own. Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. I guess it's official now that it's, now that that's always seemed to you be the are case. Now Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. Hmm. Kind of like a uh, reminiscent shot of the first time he entered the cantina in the first episode. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, there's Dave Filoni off on the side there. You made our jobs a lot easier. Oh, of course, wearing a hat. <laughs> that was a very, very interesting last visual shot. That was very, com that was very comedy genre. Looney Tunes esque. <laughs> Looking at the camera. Oh boy, can you believe it? <laughs> this is very, very interesting. So, as I said in the last video, you never developed the resolution of the tension between these factions because their ideologies still exist, their ideological differences still exist so and of course yes it's you know for mandalore mandalore for mandalore, mandalore. regardless there is a lack of development there you have din Djarin, who we find out that din is um not his first name or at least it doesn't seem like his first name it seems like it's taking very much from um japanese uh, culture, where instead of Izuku Midoriya, you would be Midoriya Izuku. But you have Din Djarin, who is, who, I don't know why I said it like that, <laughs> who took Grief Karga up on his offer, has a place to lay his head in between missions and in between jobs, has a home with the Mandalorian should he choose to visit every once in a while. Moff Gideon is certainly not dead. There was some um, exposition dialogue there. Um, destroyed those clones. I wanted the Force and this, and it's like, okay, he's he's coming back. There, but more observance is needed on this. However, in that particular uh, scene, there, there was a lot of tell don't show with that, which can work if executed in a way that fits. The character and the context. Mm, if it fits the character is debatable. It certainly did not fit the context of that particular situation right then and there. Yeah, that was, you know, a hiccup. With um with everything else, this this episode was definitely a resolution episode in terms of everything that had been set up in season season seven. Everything that had been set up in episode seven was this is simply the domino effect episode. You have the Mythosaur plot that was left dangling. You have the tension between the ideologies that was left dangling. Speaking of ideologies, now that the Darksaber is destroyed, you now have a power base from a particular faction that believes that is a source of power that is now... What now? Um, overall, with some of the things I'm bringing up in... This season was certainly, I will say certainly, th this season um, was the weaker season. For some things, particularly, even if it were only a few, particularly story important things, lack of connective tissue, lack of focus when it comes to the main character, which could, which could work, but with, with once again, what you put in lieu of him, the bringing together of all Mandalorians and this and the other once again is also tied to that lack of connective tissue 
in certain regards, in certain mental, in certain fundamental areas of which you did not. So you, so if you're going to give something in lieu of this one thing, what you gave still was close to half baked, undercooked, not fully prepared. If not undercooked, if not half baked, is not fully prepared, not fully fleshed out. Certain visuals took a step up this season, um, particularly some of the creatures. Um, definitely took a uh, definitely took a step up. Um, looking specifically at the turtle, <laughs> the turtle alligator. Uh, looking specifically at um, that one creature in uh, the last episode, that that ankylosaurus looking um, creature that you know had the tail come down and everything. Certain visuals in the fighting, uh, such as, like I said, I mean, you, there's, there's, the, there's the weakness in when they were just firing blasters. Oh, it's bouncing off of them. They're fine. They have Beskar, Beskar alloy. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Look seemingly in the same spots. Oh, 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 these ones died, though. It's like, that's weird. But then to then circumvent that with, with, with stronger visuals of going for the neck, going for under the arms and, and going for the midsections, the, the weaker areas. Some good stuff there. You had some moments of um, strong acting, even though I still laugh at that one part you know, with Christopher Lloyd. Oh, oh, oh I, I, I didn't know you were going to do this. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Lloyd still did a good job. Uh, uh, Lizzo is over there. But Jack Black, as odd as it was to have just Jack Black, not, not because he wasn't good in what he was doing, it's just certain things like that make it seem like an SNL skit as opposed to you know, as opposed to within the Star Wars universe. I'm sure people were probably saying like, oh, oh, well, you're saying that this can you saying people can't have a job. You're saying people can't be in this story. They're just actors. Granted, yes. In certain situations, yes, it's fine. Like, and as I said, Jack Black did fine in his role. But there are some things that, are the, that would be the equivalent of, as if in sync came in. They were sitting at a table, and as Grogu was sit waving bye to him, he said, "They said bye, bye, bye." Yeah, that 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 kind of kind of be discordant with Star Wars. <laughs> that would be that would be discordant with the context of the franchise, and 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 puts it more in a realm of skit. Puts it more in the realm of parody. Sometimes that can be that. Sometimes that could just happen in an appearance. Sometimes that appearance can be can be outdone and overcome if the performance and other things around it are different. It's like it's 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 a case by case basis. Overall, I say all that. I I guess I'm just thinking out loud. Which reminds me of the Ed Sheeran cameo in Game of Thrones now. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just thinking out loud now. Some strong parts in this season, uh, but definitely some weaker parts. Weaker seem to... The, if, if, if there were not more weaker parts than strong, the parts that were weak were so fundamental that they, that they affect everything else. Same as a house. If you had a house, it looked beautiful. Outside, inside, curb appeal, all that stuff. Had everything that you wanted. But the foundation is lacking. Well, you have... Well, well, well just look at the bathroom. And look at, the, and look at the, the, the primary bedroom. And look at the outside. Isn't it beautiful? Everything seems great. But then since the foundation is cracked, it doesn't mean a thing because your house is going to sink. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, or subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. My short films, reactions, reviews, video essays, graves, plays, all that good stuff that's on there. And much, much more to come. And I'll see you guys next time.
Have a good one.